Hey guys, my name is Femi or Jeremy and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be more of like an update because as you guys have known, I've not posted a video in quite a while, almost three weeks now. So this will be the first time in about three weeks since I'm posting a video and today's video I just want to give you guys sort of an update of what um, has been happening and what is to come. Okay, so if you've been following my channel, you will know that I've been posting a lot of Hacking Touch videos and Hacking Touch related videos. And recently Hacking Touch Zone, a website that posts custom Mac OS files for people to download easily and install easily without you having to go through the hassle of installing the vanilla version of Mac OS. Recently just shut down their website saying they will no longer be supporting or be posting Mac OS versions on the website. The website won't really, won't exist anymore. So of course that's bad news for me and bad news for everyone else that used to use that website that used to download files from the website because we can no longer go for, to that website and download any mac os version from there and that's really sad because mac os big Sur has just been announced recently will soon be coming out in the next few months and a lot of us were waiting or have been waiting for it to come out so that when hacking touch zone comes out with their own custom version which is called nairesh we will be able to download it and use it easily but now that's no longer the case because now the website has been shut down and even the videos I have made in the past concerning Mac OS, I made a how to install Mac OS Catalina video on my channel and that video almost became useless to anybody who would want to install Mac OS Catalina on their system because the file is no longer on the website. But thankfully, I went to my computer and I found the torrent file that I could use to download the DMG file from their servers or wherever they posted it to. So I uploaded that file on Google Drive and I put the link in that video. So if you want to still download the file, you can go to that video and you can and click on the link and download the torrent file to download the DMG file for Catalina. So now what does this mean that this website isn't available for us? It means that we won't be able to use it in the future, we won't be able to get the newer macOS versions from the website or the previous versions if you want to install it. We will now have to look for an alternative, look for a website that is as close to the nearest version of macOS or we have to install macOS the vanilla way. And the vanilla way is basically the purest and maybe the hardest way of installing macOS on Hackintosh because you have to download the DMG file straight from Apple and you have to download a bunch of drivers. You have to download Clover yourself if you're using Clover or the other alternatives yourself and you have to piece everything together for it to work on your computer. But with Nairis Catalina or any other version, you just have to download the file from Hackintosh Zone put it in a flash drive and install it on your hacking touch system and you'll be running Mac OS easily. But as sad as this is that this website is not running again, this is not the end of the world for easy Mac OS installation. It's actually better to even install it the vanilla way because you won't be having any like malware or anybody will be spying on you when you install it. In, on your hacking touch but if i should find another alternative and look for a better way to install mac os or easier or simpler way that is safe i will link it in my i'll make, or I'll make another video showing you guys how to install it in that method or from that method okay about mac os big Sur, i personally can't wait for it because it has gone through a massive visual like change and upgrade from what i've been seeing from other tech youtubers videos i can see that apple has really changed up the way it looks same thing to ios which i can't wait to see too and with apple trying to make mac os and ipad over become more close and similar i'm wondering how that's going to be like when we install that on our hacking touch systems hopefully it will run smoothly we won't have too many problems when we're installing on our computers and it will be just as smooth as we Catalina is because I've gotten my Catalina to become very stable and I have fixed most of the problems I had when I first installed it. Problems like the brightness buttons, the trackpad gestures, even Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is working which I have made videos about if you want to check them out. I will link them in the video's description. So when Big Soul finally comes out and there are ways for us to install it on our Hackintosh computers, Definitely expect videos from me as I will be trying and looking for alternative ways to hack in touch zone or if I can't find any way at all, I will go the vanilla method. Lastly, I would like to ask you guys uh, what kind of videos you would like to see from me. Is there any topic or any tech out there that you want me to cover on the channel? Even though I might not have physical items with me to talk about or review, just let me know about them. Is there any software, is there any game, anything that you want me to talk about or review? Just let me know in the comments and I will gladly look into it. So yeah, that was basically what I just wanted to update you guys on. 
and i know i've not been posting consistently as i've been doing in the past but hopefully i'll be able to start that now because i am back home now and settled down and i'll be able to start making more videos consistently so don't forget to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button to catch on on my future videos thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time bye